Hello students and welcome to our normal takeoff and climb maneuver execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some of its ACS completion standards. So, the objective of normal takeoff and climb is to get the airplane airborne in a safe, controlled manner and to continue the climb and transition to a cruise climb attitude using the appropriate procedures and checklists, obviously with an emphasis on safe operation. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, all of the common errors, or all of the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all of the additional details we just mentioned and to study this lesson's full length presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and more, look up the normal takeoff and climb lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. So last thing, let's talk about some of the ACS standards. First, we're going to be talking about use of proper wing correction technique, maintaining center line during the takeoff roll, rotating at the proper airspeed, which is VR, and in today's example we're going to be using a rotate speed of 55 knots. Establish a pitch attitude to maintain climb out at VY plus 10 or minus 5 knots for private pilot students or VY plus or minus 5 knots for commercial pilot students. In today's example, we're going to be using a VY speed of 74 knots. We're going to talk about retracting the flaps and landing gear at the appropriate altitude and as necessary. Today we're going to be flying a Cessna 172S model, so we will not have retractable landing gear, but we will be talking about retracting the flaps. And then lastly, we're going to transition into a cruise climb and complete any necessary after takeoff checklist items. Alright, that's it. We're going to cover the rest in the airplane, so let's get out there and execute this maneuver. All right, so we are out here at our aircraft, almost ready to do our normal takeoff and climb maneuver. Now, before we do that, I do kind of want to explain where we're at in the process and take a look at a couple of things in the cockpit. So, as you can see, we're already on our runway. That means that we should have already completed our pre-takeoff checklist, which is found in the POH. Uh, this is where we'd be setting the flaps, the fuel pumps, uh, the lights, the mixtures, the transponder, everything like that would have already been set. As you can see from just looking at our aircraft here, we do have our flaps set at 10 degrees for takeoff, which is what we're going to be using for our example today. We also would have already received our takeoff clearance from ATC as you can see we're sitting on the runway. So we come on the runway, we get lined up. I know we're not perfectly lined up here, it didn't load us in perfect, but we will get on that center line as soon as we start rolling. Let's go ahead and look inside real quick before we do our takeoff. So a couple other things that we like to do here is if you have a heading bug and an altitude bug in your airplane, you might as well use them. So we've got that here. We've got our heading bug set for the departure heading uh, or the runway heading 315 is what we're set at here. And we're going to say our initial altitude is going to be 8,500 feet. So we have set that with our altitude bug. The reason we like to do that is if we start to get really task saturated or something like that, we can go ahead and just look at our bugs and remember, okay, this is the heading I'm supposed to be on and this is the altitude I'm supposed to be on or I'm supposed to be headed to. So that's why we like to use those heading bugs just to remind ourselves where we should be and what we should be doing. Our flaps are set for 10. Our trim is all set. Let's go ahead and make sure our trim is set for takeoff here. Oh, let me go ahead and trim that the correct direction. So get our trim set to the takeoff and we're basically ready to go we got our lights on flaps everything's ready to go go ahead and jump back in our cockpit the last thing that we like to do before we actually begin the takeoff roll is you're going to hold your brakes on the aircraft with your toes okay those toe brakes and we're going to bring our power up to about 2000 rpm when we do that we're going to pop over to our screen here and make sure that all of our engine gauges are still in the green and that they're good for takeoff so we can see we're at 2000 rpm all of our engine gauges are green, so we'll say that go ahead and checks out. Then, very simply, we're going to go ahead and release our brakes and smoothly add that full throttle using our rudder pedals and our wind correction to stay on center line as we roll down the runway. Now, we have calm winds today, so we don't have any 
wind direction input but as we're speeding up if you did you would slowly relax that wind correction okay we're going to look at our airspeed tape we can see that our airspeed is alive so we'll enunciate that say airspeed alive and we're going to rotate at 55 knots which is right there so we'll say 55 rotate and we'll pull back real gently on the yoke to become airborne Once we're airborne, we're going to go ahead and let the aircraft speed up to our VY speed while we track over the top of the runway here. VY speed was that 74 knots, so just using the yoke and the trim to climb out at our VY speed. Trying to make everything just nice and smooth and easy. Climbing out at that 74, that VY. Okay? We're just making small trim inputs to adjust to try to keep that nice climb speed next once we're a couple hundred feet up in the air what we can go ahead and do and we're feeling safe obviously what we can go ahead and do is retract our aircraft's flaps so we'll go ahead and pop outside and show you what that looks like we'll go ahead and retract the flaps and we'll pop back inside and continue our climb now there's no hard set fast rule for this next part but when you are ready, essentially you're clear of obstacles and you're ready, you can transition to a cruise climb. With the cruise climb, what you're going to get is you're going to lower your nose a little bit so we get more of a forward speed. That's going to help us in having better forward visibility and also having some air, some engine cooling as we'll be getting more air over the engine for our climb. So let's go ahead and say that we want to do our cruise climb speed at 85. So we're just going to trim the nose of the aircraft down just a little bit increase our forward visibility you can see as we're coming here trimming that nose down just a tad and speeding up to our cruise climb speed of 85 getting everything trimmed out nice and stable everything smooth and we have transitioned now to our cruise climb at this point in time what you can do is go ahead hop back in your cockpit and do your after takeoff checklist. That would include, so I mean, obviously it's gonna be different for every aircraft, but you can go ahead and look at it. You'd be adjusting your lights, your flaps, your fuel pumps, all of those different things, and making sure that we are on our good route. So that's it. There's pretty easy. That's your normal takeoff climb. A couple of those things that you just had to, you know, have memorized the VR speed, your VY speed, your cruise climb speed, and the different power settings and whatnot but that's it for this lesson guys thanks for joining us and we'll have another execution lesson coming your way soon